Okay, so we're really getting there now. We just need to do a couple final tweaks to the shaders we've already built up and just, you know, help to to push things in the right direction. So I'm quite happy with the amount of, um, of detail we've pushed in with the, the various shaders. Now, we could go in and just do a few more, but for the time being, let's just go through our textures and just tweak them for the look we want. So I quite like how we've got these sort of darkened areas with the, the sediment mask, for example. But the um, some of the stone layers could do with just you know tweaking a little bit. So let's go back through into our initial shader networks, the ones that we used to build the base. So um, the Icelandic jagged rock, for example, and the the other one, the rock cliff material. So both of these could do with a little bit of help. So let's just go back to this one and the albedo and just see what happens if we crank it down. So. That's interesting. Okay, so we don't want it to look like that, but that's just helped us to sort of decide where we want to go in so sort of um, what tweaks we want to make. So I think it'd be a good idea if we introduce some more color variations. So if we just, um, if we take the albedo from the other shader, uh, from the jagged rock, we copy that, control C, control V, and we're going to use an AI layer RGB A again. So, but this time we're going to have this much less uh, tiled. Let's just have it ten times. Um, and I want to have this layered. So, a, type in AI layer RGB A. And once again, enable the second layer and put the, the, the color corrected texture into input one and the albedo into input two. And then we're gonna use an AI noise again, using these a lot. Um, feed that into the mix for the first input. And actually, we're gonna need an AI range once again. You see that's a recurring theme going on here. So let's just put the red channel in there. Now the noise, let's just crank up to eight octaves. Once again, make it pretty small. 0 0.05 should do. And let's just copy the range. So 0 0.4 and 1.6. Point four, um, 0.6 and let's put that into our base color. Now, if I just, yeah, you can see there's a little bit of layering going on there. I'm not sure I'm happy with that effect though. Okay, there we are can see what's going on there. Maybe point, point four one. Okay, so now we've got that sort of extra little bit of noise breakup going on in our sort of rock. So if we Let's take this render. And screenshot it. So we've got that. And then this just feed the original into the base color. And that's not the original, that's the <laughs> the AI range. So let's feed the where was it? The AI, the original was this one. Color correct. So Give that a second to render. Kind of see what's going on here. So yeah, you can see that with the the extra shader, the extra texture rather laid on there, we just got that little bit more break up again with the noise map. So that just looks a bit nicer. And then perhaps we can just darken this down a bit. Um, 
So let's just create an AI color correct. Put the out color of the layer in there, drop it into our base color, and let's just open up our Arnold render view again. Let's do this so we can see what we're doing. And let's play with the, let's see what we can do if we, yeah, so if we play around with the camera a little bit. Point four. Starting it down a fair bit, probably too much, but if we then grab our noise and mask that, see what happens. Yeah, okay, what we'll do is we'll create one more. Um, in fact, let's just use another AI range. We can use the same noise, but we just don't necessarily want it to be quite as strong as that. So let's pipe that in instead. There you go. Okay, so that's going to need to be pushed a little bit. So let's bring it closer to the values of our original AI range, but not too much. So 0.4 and then maybe 0.5. Yeah. Actually, that's still a little bit too harsh. So maybe 0 0.6. Yeah. It's nearly there. It just... Hmm. Probably needing a much smaller noise map actually. So let's go ahead and just create one more. <laughs> Plenty of noise maps. Drop that into the input. What have we got here? Probably too small. Let's go back to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. Yeah, you can definitely see the break up there. It's, it's a little bit too obvious, really, but uh, it's somewhere we can go from. So, okay, yeah, yeah. It's not it's not a great effect. So let's make it more subtle. Change it to point two and increase the octaves as well. And perhaps the distortion could do with a little nudge. Almost there. I think perhaps just all the way down to point 0.1. Yeah, that's... that's Almost where we want it to be. I think now just the color creates perhaps a little bit too, even the range rather. Sorry, the range. So let's, let's turn that to 0.7. We want it to be quite soft and, and not immediately obvious. So 0.8. Yeah. Okay. So there we've got uh, probably a bit better break up now with that. Let's close that and just have a look at our render. Yeah. That's better. So yeah, we've got a nice bit of break up there, and um, you can see our curva ma curvature map is just giving us a little bit of detail there. So that's looking great. Um, so now really we're ready to move on to the next stage. So what we want to do is we want to set up a camera and uh, set up our clouds um, and a little bit of uh, scattering as well. Maybe scatter some geometry and just build this scene up a bit so we can you know, come up with an interesting render. So let's proceed onwards.